look at some of the data points here. If this is the information given to you for the past year, okay, the information for the past few years, what is the break-even point here if you just look at this table? Can you tell me? In units or in sales? In units, that will be that will be the 100 events is the break-even units, and then for every event you're generating $200 for sales. So multiply those two numbers, you can get sales revenue 20,000. So this income zero is the break-even point. If you are generating events, having only 50 low season, then you're not getting profit. If you're going above it, you're getting 150 events, 200. This is the income you're generating. Okay, now the middle columns here, this is the total cost incurred, which includes both fixed and variable. So remember, this also goes back to that example we did earlier. Fixed cost is still 20,000 and the variable cost is 80 per event, so you need to multiply whichever events that happen, add them together, gives you the total cost. Okay, so this particular break-even point, remember we did 100 events, gives us 8,000 8, fixed cost, a variable cost, and plus fixed cost together, the total cost is 20,000. Okay, so those equations there, you're able to get, if you plug in a data point, plug in the number of events, or if you plug in the cost information, you should be able to get each and every season's uh, potential sales revenue, potential cost information. But what if we wanted to do analysis and look at it in various different levels of events and various different sales revenue? And it will be very useful for us to plot down all the data points that you're able to get from the equation. Remember, all we did earlier was just specific points when sales revenue is 50 for each person? What if we change it to 40? Or what if we raise the cost later on? So this chart here gives you more comprehensive information on different levels of events and then what's the sales revenue generated, also what's the cost incurred. So the first step to draw this chart or to understand this chart, we usually start from revenue. Is the number one step here, choose a sales volume, plot the point for total sales at that volume. So if we choose 100, let's say, sales revenue is 20,000. If we go back to that chart, just plug in 100 events and find the point 20,000. Put a dot there, link it to zero. Now why are we linking it to zero? Because when there's no event sale, we're not getting any revenue. Okay, so Make sure you understand which lines links to zero. There is a particular line that doesn't link to zero, which is the fixed cost portion, right? Fixed cost is the green line, which is the next one we're covering here. Regardless of the events that occurs, you always have $12,000 that the company needs to cover. Okay, so the first line you're drawing here is sales revenue. Just pick, pick whichever data points. You can also pick 200. Revenue is 40,000, so if you go back to this chart, 200, match it with 40,000, draw a dot over there and then link it to zero. That will give you the red line. Green line, fixed cost, always the same flat line, doesn't link to zero, because it, even if you don't have customers requesting DJ services, you still have to depreciate the assets. You still have employees salary to cover. Now what is the blue line? Total cost, which includes both fixed and variable, which is why we are starting from where the green dot links to the y-axis, because we are also incorporating fixed cost. So the slope is what? How do we determine the slope of the blue line? Remember the slope? What is the slope? Fixed cost is here, the green line. And if this is the fixed plus variable cost, this is the blue line up there, then the slope is x-axis, and use it to divide y, and why does it have a line like this? What is it causing this line to look like that? Is it the fixed or the variable? It's the variable portion, right? And then remember earlier we talked about variable cost is 
$80 per event. So really this slope is 80. For every event happen, you have $80 of cost. Two events that happens, you have 160. Three, 240, right? So this variable here, the reason why it's going up in that direction and that angle is because of the variable cost. Okay, so again, if we use the break-even point as an example, 100 events, we have total cost 20,000. Uh, jot it down over there, 100, 20,000, and then link it to the green line, remember the fixed cost line, because that's the total cost portion. Now, this chart, the goal for this chart is to understand break-even point and also the operating income portion. So where the sales revenue line joins with the total cost line is the point where the company has break-even units and break-even sales, which is the 100 events, because you see sales revenue for 100 events is $20,000. Sales revenue, $20,000, equals the total cost incurred for also 100 events. So meaning wherever the sales revenue equals the total cost is where the break-even point is and also what we have been doing earlier. Okay, so in units, it's 100 events. In dollars, it's $20,000. If you go above the break-even threshold, you can see that once you go above, the red line is above the blue line and the shaded area in green is the operating income portion. So for every event that goes beyond the break-even point, you're generating $120 contribution margin. There's two events that goes beyond 100, we're generating 240. Three events, 360. Four events, 480. So you can see that shaded area grows larger and larger. The more events you're selling, the more profit you're getting. As opposed to that, this red area, the operating losses, if it's lower than break-even threshold, then the more, the lesser events you're able to provide to customers, the more operating losses is incurred. Okay, any questions on understanding this chart? So basically, you just have to know what does the joint dot mean, how to graph this, and what does the shaded area mean. Operating income, left-hand side is losses. Yes? Um, I haven't decided on the next exam, but that would be a good idea. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Probably not. I will probably focus more on understanding the chart. Okay, like where the dot joints? Yes. That could be an option, but I will save it for now. Maybe. Okay. Any more questions? Okay, this is just kind of combining what we covered earlier. Just what is the break-even units, what is the break-even dollars, and then understanding the graph, the right-hand side, the more it goes up, the more shaded areas in green um, captures the operating income. 